I'm going to sound like an absolute boomer in this one, but I feel like if I could get this across to one person, it will have been worth it. My wife came back from a trip to LA. She was seeing some family. She was flying back. She told me a short little story that she thought was funny. I thought it was literally really sad. And she said that she was sitting there waiting for her flight and she saw a couple walk past her and they were decked out in some Louis Vuitton luggage. And is that my damn phone going off in the middle of a video? I'm sorry about that. They were dripped out in some Louis Vuitton uh, luggage and also, you know, handbags and, and all that stuff. You know, the Louis Vuitton I'm talking about, not like the nice one. But the Louis Vuitton that everybody everybody buys with the checker pattern, you know what I mean? It's the one where you know they don't actually care. They just uh, they're just doing it for looks. And they they went and uh, went up to the Spirit Airlines desk and started arguing about their seats on the flight, flying Spirit with a bunch of Louis Vuitton on them. And look, I don't know who needs to hear this, bro. I don't know who needs to hear this, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. This has been happening really since the dawn of time, but it is so relevant in 2023. People will literally go out of their way and put themselves in an uncomfortable financial position. They will sacrifice their peace of mind for material things. Nobody cares. They don't care what clothes you wear. They don't care what car you drive. They don't care if you fly private, fly first class, or fly economy. Nobody cares. You know the last time I saw somebody driving in a nice car and thought, that's a cool motherfucker right there. Zero. Maybe if it was Jay Leno, I would. He's like the only guy. I don't know why my dog's looking at me. <laughs> Do you need to go outside? Hey, I'm making a video. Take it from somebody who has wasted money growing up. I only know this because I've been there and I've done it. But let me spread a little game to you from somebody in the future. If you are young, if you are still coming up, if you're still grinding or trying to make it or whatever, having peace of mind and the ability to do something is actually far greater than doing the thing or having the thing. Having the ability to go out and buy a nice car or the ability to go out and buy a nice watch or the ability to do whatever it is people think they need to do to flaunt their money. Just having the ability to do it is enough for your mental. This is what's most important. It's the mental space. It's financial security. It, it's comfortableness. It's, it's, it's knowing that the money's there. People want to get some money so they can turn around and spend it as soon as they got it. Dog, the money is the goal. You want to have the, you want to have money or you want to have nice shit. Now, look, if you're already loaded and you don't even have to think about it, if you can buy something and it's it literally it doesn't even come up in the conversation like it does not put you in any sort of financial uh, stress at all. Do the thing. Absolutely. You've earned it. But I'm telling you, if you're still trying to make it. Just focus on making it. Don't focus on making it look like you already did, because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, nobody cares. And the only people that do care, really the only people that you impress with material things are people who are below you financially. They have not made it quite to those levels. Somebody who can't afford a Louis Vuitton bag, they look at a Louis Vuitton bag and they're like, holy shit, they got a Louis Vuitton. You know, somebody who can't afford a nice car, they say, holy shit, that's a dope car. You really don't want to be impressing those people. Any you want to be impressing people that are above you financially. And the way that you impress people that are above you financially is by eating shit, is by being humble, is by saving, is by being responsible. And it's by being a good steward of the money that you do have, not by blowing it on dumb shit. So don't do it, dog. I'm telling you, just don't do it. Don't do it.
if it costs you your peace of mind, it's too expensive. That's it. That was the story. I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you. I'll catch you next time. Peace out, everybody.